Pika 2.0 just released a new way for you to control your video generations, and it's pretty crazy. Take a look. As you've seen in that video that you see that you can now select different characters or different objects inside of the video for it to track whether you put yourself in as the selfie or you can even put as it did with that cat you can put that in as well and add it into your scene so you saw where i was riding the cat and understood that this was the person and this was the cat and it can interact with those two images to make the video not only that they were talking about even being able to do this with like deceased relatives and stuff like that where they were taking a selfie with the, his uh grandmother you know what i'm saying that passed away but not only that you can also do this with different scenes now where you can add the background where they had that background image of that painting and then they added in like let's walk through it with his deceased relative which is pretty crazy what i did think was hilarious <laughs> They had the meme where, you know, where it's like, oh, this is fine and everything's on fire. They did it with Sam Oliver. Check it out. That like, I don't know. That was just kind of crazy to me to be like, OK, cool. This I guess I can see this being an issue for Sora because Sora just released. But there's a lot of competition like right there knocking on their door. But it's still pretty crazy to see how like good this is. But it's just getting more and more advanced right now. I even seen some of the uh, generations done by the community. Uh, this is also called scene ingredients where you can pick out like the different locations of everything. You can pick out like the models and everything like that. And it's pretty well in depth about what you can do and what you can't do. So you could, so it allows you to upload images of yourself, people, places, and things giving you more control and consistency than ever before. So let's say you wanted to have heels on or a jacket on, you can put these things in there so it understands these different images and how to incorporate them more inside the generation, which is pretty cool. Pika Lab is definitely coming for Sora's neck and a lot of these other video generation. A lot of competition is ramping up now and it makes me very hopeful for 2025. But this is just this is just the tip of the iceberg. Cause take a look right here where you see this image of a person uploading a, a woman in a hoodie. Then you see the Starbucks cup and then you see that they have like the Starbucks environment and you see Pika Art. DC Pika Labs was able to, well, generate the whole entire environment. Even with this one right here, even with this one right here, where you see this guy kind of like generating Pika 2. Not only that, they had like the Clone Wars one, where it's like you see the camera panning around and you see like just how animated this is. It's like this person's on like a starship. This one is pretty cool as well, where you see this is like the Van Gogh art and it has them dancing together using the two images of the paintings. Also thought this one was pretty cool where it's like a robot just chilling, sitting down, but it didn't have a prompt, but just had the images and just let it do what it does. They also did one of like a famous paint, the famous paintings of like the starry night. it like going and see how it's generating and it's pretty cool like this is this is way better if you think about this last year and how far we came from that this is absolutely incredible but also it was this one with like this guy the jacket and the scene and just different people in general that just had different outfits in the same scene as far as well the photo shoot and just different outfits in a different person and that one is pretty cool you do see like some hallucinations and like when they spin around and stuff like 
this fast zooming or well, the fast speeding up of the video and them turning around and like the images like not being consistent or the video not being consistent even like kind of this creepy one where i guess this guy's a little well I got this one where the guy's a little well bloody or whatnot they even had wednesday i saw wednesday had one where like i guess she steps into frame and then like well gives you the head nod but this is all like pretty cool to say like this is like coming from uh, pika 2.0 and I like that there's still a lot of competition in the video generation space in the video in the image generation space i'm definitely looking forward to more of these type of things coming out and seeing what 2025 has to offer but do you think this is cool because <laughs> i definitely do but drop a comment down below of what you think about the pika 2.0 release and with that being said your boy dex not dexter out